Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because yesterday I hit 100 subscribers on my channel. Now, I know many of you may be laughing inside thinking, girl, 100 subscribers? <laughs> but I do not care. I am so happy and beyond grateful to each and every one of you who has supported me since day one and has been a part of my YouTube family since day one. I love you guys so much, mwah, 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 and I could only hope to continue growing together. So to celebrate this tiny goal, I decided to make today's video on a very special cake called Gladys's Way. I decided to name this cake Gladys's Way because first as a tribute to Gladys who originally started making this dessert in the family, and second, because she made it slightly different than the original recipe that I had found online. So naturally, it had to be called Gladys's Way because she made it her own way. Now, the beauty of this cake and the reason why it's so special, first, because it is absolutely delicious. Second, it's so easy to make. Third, you don't require any oven, you don't require any cooking. It's literally the most simple and refreshing dessert you'll ever taste in your entire life. Promise you. Guys, let's jump right in and start making this dessert that you'll want to have in your home every single week. You'll need sweetened condensed milk, one evaporated milk, six limes, which you want to be plump, filled with a lot of juice, and a half a bag of Goya Maria cookies. Next up, let's go ahead, we're gonna squeeze these six limes and open each of the cans. For the Maria Goya cookies, you can either grab a Ziploc bag, place the cookies inside and use a rolling pin to create crumbs or you can use the same blender that you're gonna use for all the ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead, put the lime juice aside and clear the area. Next step that we wanna do is go ahead and open the Maria cookies. Okay, and as I said before guys, you can either use a Ziploc bag to make these cookies into crumbs or you can use a blender. I'm gonna use a blender. So go ahead and put all of the cookies inside the blender. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside in the same bowl that the cookies were in. This is how ideally your cookies should look. Okay, so you've already put in uh, the evaporated milk, the condensed milk, but you want to continue to blend because now we're going to go ahead and add our lime juice. You see how the consistency is very thick? That's exactly how you want it to look. So for this next part, you can use any small cake pan if you have one. First thing that we're going to do is grab the cookie crumbs and we're gonna add a very thin layer at the bottom and now we're gonna go ahead and start adding layers of cake mixture and kind of just spread it all over go ahead and add the second layer of cookie crumbs Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add a second layer of the mixture. Look at how nice and thick that is, guys. 
just a little bit more of this cookie crumbs on this one. And then we're gonna add the last layer all in. Balance that out. And we're gonna add the remaining cookie crumbs on the top, okay guys? All you need to do now is we're gonna add some foil on top. Make sure it's closed. We're gonna put it in the freezer for about five to six hours and then you should have your ice box cake. It looks amazing, amazing. And the taste of it guys, you have no idea. So anyways, the dessert is out and we want to leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes just so it can start melting the right amount. Look at this guys. This is ready to be served. Oh my God, I can't wait. It's so good, it's so good. And here we go with the final product. This is how Gladys's way is meant to look. Look at the layers, look at the crumbs. Oh, guys. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button below for more weekly videos and to become a part of my family on YouTube. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. And above all, let's remember to be kind to one another. Until next video guys.